So we came up with the O2 trainer, a device, a very simple device. It has two openings. One on this side, if you breathe out, it opens up. If I breathe in, this one closes, and that means you're forced to breathe into this side. Now, this is just like a weight, so to say, you know, uh, this is a weight for all different kinds of strength. So instead of having a 10 pound, a 15 pound, a 20 pound weight, no, this has all in one. As you can see, it kind of looks like a weight as well. So this is when you breathe in with resistance. And once you start doing that, you're training your muscles, your breathing muscles to get stronger. Now, now people are going to go breathing muscles. What's going on? Your lungs breathe for you. I said, no, your lungs don't actually do anything. Your lungs are just two bags. When people say, oh, you have strong lungs, you can't have strong lungs. You can have healthy lungs, but you can't have strong lungs. But the breathing muscles, they are the muscles that breathe for you. Now, I try to explain it. Uh, between your body and the lungs, there's a vacuum. And when you expand your chest, that vacuum opens up the lungs. And if you don't understand what a vacuum is, imagine your lungs are taped to the inside of your body. And the only way for them to open up is to actually expand your chest and that's how you pull air in. That is literally how lungs work. So if you do this with resistance, you start training those breathing muscles, which are your intercostal muscles, your, extra, your outer intercostal muscles and your diaphragm. Well, those are 11 pounds of breathing muscles, which you cannot train other than with a device like the O2 trainer. Now, the diaphragm does a lot of things. It massages your intestines. It's like a disc that hangs like this in your belly, in the mid here. So the bottom of your ribs, that's where your diaphragm is located. It's for your balance as well. And when you expand the diaphragm, it's like a Frisbee, it expands. And if you can see from the front, it gets wider. So imagine this happening inside your body. It will expand your chest. That together with the outer intercostal muscles, which are the muscles in between your ribs, that those muscles will open up your lungs. The more you can expand, the more air you can pull in your lungs. Plus not only that, you are training your breathing muscles. Do you know that when you're, once you're gassing, that feeling of gassing that is literally oxygenated blood leaving your limbs to support the number one priority in your body, your breathing muscles. That's why you're getting fatigued because nobody trains, nobody works out those 11 pounds and that's an average human being, I'm 200 pounds. So that means I might have like 13 pounds of breathing muscles. And if you don't train those muscles, well, they're not in sync with your body. So once I start using the O2 trainer and training and working out those breathing muscles, my breathing became insane.